Nintendo's new mobile game continues its impressive string of addicting events. Dragalia Lost has only been out for a little over a month, but the game is already on its fourth event. This event, titled A Wish to the Winds gives players a chance to give their wind-attuned adventurers a chance to shine. The new event focuses on Louise and Loen, a brother and sister duo who have run afoul of a dragon named Garuda. When Uden and his allies come to the party's aid, they learn about Louisa's overbearing habits and Loen's desire to be treated as an equal instead of a child. A Wish to the Winds is a facility event, which means that players can build a special facility for their Haladum and then upgrade it for both permanent and temporary boosts. The new facility, called the Wind Shrine, doubles as an extra wind altar, a facility that gives all adventurers of a certain attunement a permanent boost in their stats, and gives all adventurers a boost in damage output and event encounters. Like previous events, there's also a few new adventurers, dragons, and worm prints that can be obtained via Dragalia Lost Summoning System. Louise and Loen can both be obtained via summon and have great abilities. Louise, a 5-star wind bow adventurer has a special strength double buff ability that increases her strength whenever she receives a defense buff, while Loen is a 4-star wind wand user that can add defense buffs to his entire team. Garuda is also a 5-star dragon that can be summoned during the event. Dragalia Lost launched in late September and had a slow start compared to other Nintendo mobile games. However, the game has gained steam, particularly in Japan, and has cultivated a loyal fanbase by quickly responding to its players' concerns. For instance, Dragalia Lost recently overhauled one of its resource distributions to make it easier for players to participate in co-op events online. Zero comments although some might be wary of Dragalia Lost as it's a gotcha game in which adventurers, dragons, and worm prints, cards that can be attached to adventurers to give them extra buffs, are mostly summoned at random. The game can be mastered without spending any money as its developers seem open to giving out ample resources. Dragalia Lost is currently available for both iOS and Android devices.